Greetings, my name is Dennis Daniels and I want to give you a quick rundown of Edge Ubuntu and basic Linux commands. <coughs> Linux, Linux, I never quite figured out which one it was. Again, the goal here is to demonstrate the basic commands. If you have any questions about how to do this on your own, you can go to the Linux uh, documentation, documentation project and you'll see uh, the commands themselves. Uh, it's very useful. Uh, the LD, TL, TLDP is a great site. I recommend it. Let's go ahead and BNC into uh, my Edge Ubuntu machine, which is right next door. Actually, literally, right next to me on my left hand side. It's connected via a uh, router. And I just started my BNC viewer. I'm going to make a new connection. 254.2 uh, is the IP address of my Edge Ubuntu machine. I click OK. Now Edge Ubuntu is going to ask if I want to allow this. I click OK and allow. Now you can see that I'm now looking at my Edge Ubuntu uh, interface. And one of the things I want to do, let's go back to our commands. Which command are we going to do today? LS. All right. LS displays a list of files in the current working directory, like the dir command in DOS. How fun is that? So we go up here. I'm going to use GNOME Terminal. I'm using a shortcut tool that I demonstrated in another video. If you're interested, go check out the Google video for that one. Uh, Control Shift Plus to zoom in on the font because otherwise you won't see anything. So let's move that over just a wee bit. And now, let's ls, see what happens. ls, I am in the desktop. Um, or rather, <coughs> that is my current, uh, that's the folder in there. This pwd, tell me where I am. I'm in the home directory, in the Denny, home Denny directory. And I'm looking at the desktop, ls, al. Uh, will give me a list of everything that's in here, including all of my hidden files. Let's zoom back down. And you can see, I hope, that some of the files are, uh, are in blue and others in black. The blue ones indicate that they are directories, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if it in fact is a directory. Uh, control plus, I'm going to SSH, I'm going to go into the SSH directory. Control shift plus to zoom in, clear so you can see where I'm going. I'm going to CD or change directory into my .SSH. It is, the blue indicated that it is a, um, that it is a directory. So let's go back, CD dot dot takes me back one full directory, ls, less, that's a pipe, less, let me zoom in a little bit on that, control shift plus, again, ls, pipe, less, and that should only display, um, that should only display the ls directory, a little bit of information, but something definitely did work. So let's escape that. Interesting. I'm not, well, that's not what I expected. Oh, well, that would make sense. LS, um, C, no, no. LS, AL, let's do that again. Less, there we go. Uh, control minus, control minus to bring the zoom back down. And when I hit the less command, it was supposed to only display what was visible in my terminal. <coughs> hit the spacebar to go down one more full directory, one more full page, and you can see my SSH. Now, for whatever reason, it's not in blue anymore. Uh, maybe the less command undoes it. So let's ls, let's clear again, clear, ls, cd, ls, no. LSAL 
and there it is. Okay, when you pass the less command, the uh, it doesn't represent the directories in blue. Now, we don't have any executables here, but I imagine the executables are in red. Of course, all of this is custom customizable. Now, um, I think that's enough for this one little bit. So why don't we go ahead and say thank you very much for your time, and go ahead and play with the ls command, ls-al. And again, ls displays a list of files in the current working directory, like the dir command in DOS, which, <laughs> I should remind you, stands for Dumb Operating System. Uh, let's zoom through some of the other pages I wanted to do it. I did this on Demo Studio uh, on my XP box in VNC. You saw how to do that. Record what you're doing. Um, share your wealth. Uh, create your own screencasts on Linux, um, as you about to, what have you, on how to set up new networks, uh, how to set up user IDs, essentially how to set up LTSP networks, school networks. So. Uh, I want to thank you. My name is Dennis Daniels, uh, and if this helped you or anyone you know, please send me an email, and love to hear from you, your ideas, and as well, um, your thoughts on these videos, screencasts. Thank you, and happy computing. <laughs>